I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Okay. Good morning, Vlogmas. Welcome to day 13, baby. Today, we have to do something that I've been avoiding for a very long time, and that's clean and organize my beauty room. It's been close to a year, like nine-ish months since I moved into this place, and I need to go through things, get rid of things. Like, I have so much stuff in this room that I've accumulated, and I honestly feel like because when I moved last year, I had to get rid of everything, that now when I get stuff, I hold on to it a little bit more, which is so messed up, and I've never been that way, but in this room specifically, I feel like I've been holding on to some stuff. So we gotta go through everything, and I'm talking like, this is gonna be like an all day process or like half a day process because I need to go through every nook, cranny, and crevice of this place. Every single lipstick over here I need to go through. I need to go through this. I need to go through every single one of these drawers. I need to go through all of my hair care items down here. All of my color back here, all of these tubs. I have a pile down here on the floor. Like I just have so much stuff all over i need to go in through there like i have so much stuff in here that i need to go through so i'm gonna do some light makeup i actually already started but i'm just gonna do like a little light makeup look so i'm gonna do that real quick i was thinking maybe you guys could hang out with me while i do it but we'll see we'll see it's kind of hard to do my makeup and talk so i like to go in with my nyx lift and snatch this is literally the best thing ever to draw on little hairs i have very sparse thin eyebrows so i go in and i use this to do draw on little hairs that don't exist. So I just draw on little hairs in the front there. And once I have the hairs drawn on, I go in with these two. I can't remember which one I like better. I have the NYX brow pencil, and then I also have the ColourPop brow pencil. We're gonna try both of them. I did this yesterday, and I can't remember which one I liked better. I think I liked the NYX one better. One of them is like very hard and doesn't go on very easily, and I can't remember which one that is. I've just been thinking I wanted to change up my brow routine. You know, brow trends change all the time, and I feel like my brows are starting to become a little bit outdated. I feel like I need to get with the times. Then I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. Clear Brow and Lash Mascara, and I'm just gonna comb these bitches up. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of concealer, just to make me look a little bit more awake. And I use a dry sponge. I'm just trying to even out my skin tone a little bit more and then like these spots any like little red spots i just go over real quick and then this is one thing i found i got this at like a discount store it's max studio fix and i freaking love it i've never tried this before this is my first time ever getting it and i love it it is so full coverage and so nice so after i do a little bit of concealer i just go in with this it's basically just like powder foundation and then I just go in with a little bit of blush contour. It's a combo. So I go with a little bit of contour blush and just put it on here. Now, yesterday when I did this, I did, I'm not gonna lie, I did use a little bit of um, eyeshadow, but I'm not gonna do that today because I literally only have to go to the store. We're gonna count our blessings today with this one and uh, do the bare minimum. I'm gonna go in with my ColourPop highlighter and Flexitarian. I've had this since 2016, baby. Mascara. Okay, that's literally all I do. And then I just put some lip oil. This is what I've been doing. It, like makes me look a little bit better. Just even things out and makes me look a little better. Not much, but just a little. So here are the eyebrows that I've been doing. They're much more natural, fluffy, not as dark or filled in, um, but they look more natural. So, and then I just do like a little bit of blush, you know, just even things out. So let's go ahead and start cleaning this room first step is to go through all of these drawers this is my main thing i use every single day top one has like brow and eyeliner and eyelash glue second one has mascara and concealer third one has foundation and primer fourth one has lip products and then the last one's kind of random highlighters um and lash curlers and stuff so i got eyeshadow all in there and then i also have this tower down here this tower is just full of miscellaneous makeup and I don't use a lot of this. So oh, I feel like I'm gonna have to say goodbye to a lot of this stuff. Here are all my makeup palettes. We gotta go through all this.
Okay, we have this thing done. Let me show you the drawers. This drawer is eyeliner, liquid eyeshadow, and um, brow products. I didn't really get rid of much in here because as I'm going through things, I actually do realize I use them often for makeup looks. And I know if I got rid of them, I would regret it or have to go repurchase stuff. So this is like brows, eyeliner, stuff like that. Second drawer, this is my concealer, contour, and blush in mascara. This one is foundation and primer. This one is lipsticks and also translucent powder and my beauty shakers strawberry shortcake powder and lip products. This bottom one is still highlighters and some eyeshadow glitter as well as my eyelash curlers. Here is the pile of stuff that I'm getting rid of. So I did get rid of quite a few things. I got rid of this concealer, this concealer, and these two other concealers. It pains me to get rid of these concealers. I didn't really like the ColourPop one or the Maybelline one, but the two e.l.f. ones I really do like, but I have so much concealer, I don't need it. Then I got rid of some eyeliner. This eyeliner right here is from beauty school, you guys. I got this when I was in cosmetology school. It's over 10 years old, yeah. Probably need to get rid of that. I'm getting rid of this eyelash glue from Spoiled. I just never use it. I love my dual lash glue, so I'm gonna get rid of that. This is empty. These are super old as well. I never use this, never use this, never use this, never use this. Um, this is like a black lipstick, but I have black lip liner and a matte liquid black lipstick, so I don't need it. This I do use, but I have a different cheek um, blush that I like better. I never use this, and I didn't like the color of this one over here. I have white lipstick. I never use it. Um, this is a highlighter like a cream highlighter stick and it's really great but it's way too dark for my skin tone and again i've never used it so this is the pile that i am getting rid of i also need to clean up my sponges so i'm gonna have to wash these real quick i put all my lipsticks down here in this tray my hair care was there but i feel like it's better if my lipsticks go there and additional makeup over here and then down here I will put hair care items. You guys, look at all of this hair care down here. I have this huge pile of hair care stuff that I need to go through. All right, I just went through all of my eyeshadow palettes and that's the thing that's hard for me, okay? The eyeshadow palettes, cause it's like, I wanna keep them even if I don't use them or I haven't used them in a long time because there could be like that one time I need to do a makeup look and it has that one palette with the one shade in it that I need that I got rid of. But I am getting rid of some, okay? I did keep a lot but the ones I'm getting rid of, I have not used in years and they're so cute. That's the hard thing. Like they make such cute palettes. It's hard for me to get rid of them, but I have to because I'm not using them and they're just sitting here. And it's like, why am I even keeping these? It's just clutter, you know what I mean? The first one is this Makeup A Murder uh, burner phone palette. Look how cute this is, you guys. It is so cute, so well made, so adorable, but it's, pastel colors they're not like super super vivid they're more of a pastel shade and you can see i have used it like some of these are worn down so it makes me think like maybe i should keep it maybe i should keep it and makeup a murder has like such gorgeous pigments like they know how to they know how to formulate some eyeshadow so it like makes me think maybe i should keep it but i have not touched this since like 2020 2021 so it's been a couple years i have not picked it up which is a sign i should probably say goodbye even though it's so cute and i want to keep it the next one is the planchette palette from spoiled i don't even think they make this anymore and again i'm just getting rid of it because i haven't used it in so long so i literally can't even tell you the last time i used it it's super super cute love the packaging but you must go the other one is the neon palette from spoiled again have not used this since 2020 and it has like vivid shades in it but I have so many other palettes that have these exact colors in them and I always reach for the other ones. So you must go. Then I'm getting rid of this blush, which I actually just used today. But it's just like, I like to have a blush palette instead of just one singular blush. Cause like, why would I keep this when I have a whole blush palette that has a shade similar to this in it? It's like, this is just gonna float around and get lost. So I'm gonna get rid of that and I'll just keep using my regular blush palette. Then I'm gonna get rid of the surfboard. This is from Spoiled and it's like a bronze and blush trio. I've never used this. Literally, I've never, never, never used it. It is so pretty, but I just have never used it. I don't know, I think I just stick to what I like. 
that's my pile of get rid of. It's not a lot. Three makeup palettes and a couple of bronzers and blushes. But I'll redo this. I redo this like every year, every six months and go through everything. And as I get PR packages in, I do like to look at what's in there and if I'm actually going to keep it or not. I do pretty good when I get new stuff in to be realistic. Am I going to use this? Am I not going to use this? So that's the key. When you get new stuff, decide right then and there if you're going to keep it, if you're going to use it. If not, Put it to the side and do giveaways with it you know what i mean here is my palette stash now Th these are literally all the eyeshadow palettes i own i feel like that's pretty good so there's my little collection now we got to go down to the second and third all this right here we got to go through fold see if we want to get rid of anything then we'll go down to the bottom level so let's go ahead and do that i found more makeup hiding underneath all of my capes and shirts okay here's what we got <laughs> i found two of these contour or bronzers from ColourPop, and I actually love both of these. But again, I have like a contour palette that has like similar shades in it, so I don't need to keep singles because they just wind up getting lost within things. Like literally, these were buried underneath all that stuff and I didn't even know, so we're gonna have to get rid of those. I really like them though. I wish I had more faces to put more makeup on, you know what I mean? Then I found these lashes. These are from One Size Beauty. They are from Patrick Starr's brand, and I use these on like extreme places, like concerts, somewhere extreme that I'm going because they are insane. So I am gonna keep these because they were very expensive, and I, I wore these to like the Billie Eilish concert. Places where I do like super extreme makeup to go to, I will definitely wear these. Now we can go through all of this stuff and see what I wanna keep and see what I want to get rid of. forgot about this big tower right here full of makeup so I'm gonna go through this <laughs> real quick and then we'll move on to hair care and brushes because I totally forgot that I put this up here so let me go through this real quick all right just went through all of my hair care this is the hardest part I feel like is the hair care because I feel like I will use all of it. I use hair care, you guys know, all the time. I damage my hair often, so I like need a lot of hair care. So I have a bunch of curly hair products here, right here on the desk, you guys can see. I have all these curly hair products. I'm not getting rid of these. We're actually cutting Aaron's hair, like cutting it, cutting it, um, probably tomorrow, tomorrow's video. He actually has really curly hair. He has like little ringlets and stuff, but he never uses products to enhance it. So with the new haircut he's doing, we're gonna try and do some wavy curly hair. So I'm gonna save all of these and let him try it and see which ones work best for him. And whatever ones don't, we will throw away. But I'm gonna keep them for now. Um, I hate to get rid of stuff like this, you know what I'm saying? Because I've only ever used it once. But we have the Not Your Mother's line right here. So we have these three products he can try. Then we have the Curl Smith products here. And then, of course, the X Mondo. Now, regardless of whether he uses these or not, um, I'm keeping them because I, in fact, use them. So I have the Wave Tech line right here. So I use these two often. So I'm gonna keep these, see which out of these three he likes. So this is the stuff I'm getting rid of. I'm getting rid of my L'Oreal Sleek It um, heat protectant. I never use heat protectant anymore, you guys. I can't even tell you the last time I used heat protectant on my hair because a lot of the leave-in products I use have heat protectant built in. So there's no point in me um, using this because literally all the products I put in my hair already have heat protectant and I have not used this or touched it in a long time, in years probably. So that's gotta go. Then I'm getting rid of my strawberry leopard hair care. I literally never use this. Like I used it after I reviewed it for a while and then I just haven't used it because I found something else I like better or I just prefer something different. So this has gotta go. I thought about keeping this for summertime like as something to spray in my hair before I go swimming because they're both like conditioning stuff but I have other stuff I can use and I don't know you guys this one's hard for me to get rid of also okay now we move on to the hardest part of this whole room which is my hair dye I have 
so much hair dye. I need to condense it, I need to get rid of it. I just have too much. I'm gonna put away all this stuff on my desk right here and then we will move on to hair dye. All right, you guys, here we go. So we got a trash bag down here. We got this bag right here that I'm gonna put some stuff in. We're gonna do piles. This is what I do every time and it seems to work well. So we have to clean all the shelves off, clean all the bottles off. Um, we also have to condense. So if I have one dye that's half empty, another one that's half empty, we need to combine them together. Then we get to put everything back up and reorganize the shelves. As I'm condensing these, it's so weird. I just opened this container of neon dragon fruit from Lunar Tides. It had never been opened before. And I went to go put it in here to like, you know, make the bottle full again. And look, there are, there are two different colors. So I don't know if they changed their formulation or what, but the bottom and the top are supposed to be the same color, but they're not. It's not a big deal to me, because you know what I mean? I normally custom mix up my own shades anyway, but I just thought it was interesting. And I have another unopened jar of Neon Dragon Fruit in this color, this one, and this one were all different colors. So, but they all say that they're Neon Dragon Fruit, which I thought was interesting. Okay, we have everything off the shelves. I have everything on the floor here, and I do have it into piles. I have a pile here, this is opened hair dye, and then I have a pile behind me that is unopened hair dye. We have multiple piles here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down the shelves because they are disgusting and then I will start putting stuff back up on the shelves and organizing things. So we are almost done. Erin just ran to get me some food because I've been doing this all day. It's two o'clock and I haven't ate yet today. So Erin went to go do that, but we are almost done you guys. Literally, this is the last stop is just stop. This is the last step just like going through all of this. So we're gonna wipe these down, put everything back up and we'll be done. All right, I am so, so close to being done. I'm gonna take a little lunch break. Let me show you the progress. So I went ahead and did it differently. I've never organized it like this before, but I decided the whole top row of all of this is unopened or like straight color. So like a lot of this is unopened color that I've never dipped into before. So I just stacked all of that up here. Down here we have red orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink, and then we have supernatural colors or unnatural semi-permanent, so like coppers, browns, colors like that. Um, and then down here is empty right now. I have to go through these tubs. I have three tubs over there. I need to condense, go through, cut down on the stuff that I have, because as you can see, I only have two open spots left, and then I have two uh, more over here. So I need to go through all of those. Yeah, that's where we're at now. I'm gonna take a break and then I'm gonna go through these three tubs and then I will be done with the room. So I'm gonna go eat. All right, just got done eating, took a quick shower. I was freezing cold, you guys. Oh, like this place gets so cold because there's a lot of big windows. I was like shivering, so like I need to take a hot shower. I just took off my makeup. I need to brush my hair real quick and then we're gonna finish up these three tubs down here and go through them but I just wanna show you something really cute real quick. So I go take my shower, go eat. I come back in the room and look who it is. He is knocked, you guys. Look at this boy. Are you tired or what? Are you so tired? Oh, big stretch, oh, big stretch. Are you so sleepy, my son? Oh, 
Yes, you're hanging out with mama. Okay, I'll leave you alone, love you. So we have one, two, three tubs to go through. We have these three to go through right here. So somehow we have to make it fit into this little area right here. But all this is looking really good. I'm about to crack open an Alani new, you guys, to give me the energy to get through the rest of this room. So let's get into these and see what's in there and how we can condense it to make it fit. All right, you guys, let me show you the progress and the finished result. My hair is getting long, you guys. I feel like I just cut this shit into a bob and I already feel like it's getting longer. All right, let me show you guys what we're working with. This is the trash from everything. Here is the backdrop. Everything is nice and organized now. We have the four bins at the bottom here. I did downsize. Over here, we just have some color removers and all these are like empty bags for travel. We have our palettes nice and organized. My desk is so much cleaner, like there's nothing over here. So much cleaner. This little pile right here is the hair um, curl stuff that we're gonna try on Aaron. So I'm just leaving this here for now so that way he can test them out and see which ones he wants to keep. I put my hair care products down there. I put my lipsticks here and some more of my makeup down here that I don't reach for often, but I don't want to get rid of it because I definitely will use it at some point. So I did that. And then down there are just my hair tools, my blow dryer and stuff like that. Obviously paper towels, cleaning wipes, all that's got to go. But here is what it looks like. So, so, so much better than it was before. Super clean and ready for the party. This right here is my shirts and capes all folded nicely. So there is everything. It looks so much better and so much neater. And now it's actually organized and ready for my party. I really wanted to get this room clean because I am having that Christmas party and some people have never been here before. So I want to make sure it's like super clean and organized in here. And now this room is done. So that's exciting. Before I go, let's do the advent calendar countdown baby we still have a sleepy boy in here you want to say goodbye bob better oh say goodbye say bye guys thanks for hanging out with my mom <laughs> paul's cross like a little dapper man all right let's do the advent calendar countdown we are on day 13 we have less than two weeks of vlogmas left will i do it i don't know here is what we have today i'm not really sure if this is just like a little girl or a doll but she's gonna go up here I just put her down here in the trees. So there we go. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve days of Vlogmas left. I don't know if I can do this, you guys. <laughs> I'm starting to stress out, running out of content, but I'm gonna try my best. And I've already done a good job and done more than what I thought I could do. So I should just be proud of how far I've come. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Look at him, he's so cute. Bye.